Knitting techniques. The make one away increase. English style, left-handed. To download a guide with our five favorite tips to improve your knitting right now, visit newstitchaday.com slash five knit tips. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A pair of knitting needles, and a ball of yarn. A special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores and lionbrand.com. In the color, taupe. The Make One Away increase is a method of shaping your fabric by adding a stitch to your work. This technique does not make an invisible increase. It does have a little bit of a gap so if you're wanting a more seamless fabric, this is not the increase that I would suggest, but it should work fine for more open work type fabrics, um, or if you don't really mind seeing this little uh, hole in your fabric. Now, if you see in your pattern an abbreviation of M1 for make one, this increase is definitely uh, usable for that. Um, but in general, M1 just means to add a stitch. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do a specific increase. Uh, we, we do have a video on uh, what would traditionally be called a make one. Uh, the make one away, if it's designated, which it probably won't be, uh, would be M1A. So let me show you how we do this. For the make one away, increase, there aren't really a whole lot of steps to it. We're basically going to take our working yarn and we are going to create a twist in the fabric, but we want to twist the fabric towards ourselves. Okay, so we're going to turn it like so. All right, so we can see that there's just sort of like a little loop here that creates like an X. And we want to have the, uh, the working yarn laying on top of that loop of the yarn that's connected to our fabric. And then we'll just place that loop on top of our working needle and we'll pull that tight. Okay? So let me show you how we do that again. All right, we're gonna take our yarn and we're just gonna twist it so that the working yarn end of our tail is on top of the yarn that is attached to our work and then we'll place that loop on our needle and just tighten that down. Okay, it's very much like a hitch stitch if you are familiar with that. Okay, and so then we'll just continue knitting in our fabric and then on the other side you'll work it as normal. And that's how we do the make one away. Hey! I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, New Stitch A Day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us. And I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!